Hi friends, welcome to our channel, Channam Shetty 259. Now, we have already discussed about the point mission. We have already discussed about the point mission. Now, we are discussing briefly about the other requirements. Briefly about the other requirements. Point mission, we have already, you know that the point mission is, normally the point mission is operating by means of unnamed and volts DC and its normal working current is 4 to 6 amps 4 to 6 amps for that we are using 1.5 square mm cable from the operating point to the remote remote means where the gear is available where the point machine is available so if the point machine is ahead that means the distance between the point machine and the operating unit that means the relay contact unit is more and more than the length of the cable will be more ultimately the length of the cable will be more once the length of the cable is more then automatically the resistance the cable resistance is increasing is gradually increasing means the cable resistance is gradually increasing in case the cable resistance is more and more ultimately or obviously the voltage drop the voltage drop across the cable across the cable is more across the cable is more normally we are preferring 10 percent 10 percent plus or minus is applicable is applicable that means 110 volts dc can be can be not less than 110 110 volts sorry 100 volts dc not less than 112 100 volts dc if the cable length is more and more automatically the resistance will be more so the voltage drop will be more so at the end of the point machine the voltage may not be available up to 100 to 100 volts dc up to 100 volts dc which is minimum requirement which is required minimum requirement so what to do we can't we can't keep the relay in this one i mean we can't bring back the point machine point machine nearer to the operating unit nearer to the operating because the point machine requirement is there only that means the point where the point lies there only the point machine is required to operate the point from normal to reverse or reverse to normal so in that scenario what we are going to do in that scenario what we are going to do is we are going to provide some type of control that is called remote control that is called remote control remote control means normally in our houses we are using remote for the operation of ac machines tvs even fans also lights also something else like that so that means um, we are sitting here and we are operating the gadget 100, 100 feet or 200 feet like that basing on the area. even drones also we are using operating we are operating by means of remote control only here there is no such wireless operation here there is no such wireless operation we are going to use it the wire only the wire means cable only conductor only but we are going to bifurcate the length of the length of the distance from the point to the operating unit operating unit by means of cutting down almost half of the way so from here we are sending we are sending the feed to the same relay that relay gets picked up locally and there from there it is feeding the recuperate it is feeding the point mission so then automatically what happens the feed from the relay relay room to location box is this much and from relay box to relay i mean from location box to gadget are uh, this much so we are cutting down we are cutting down so the the voltage from here to the extent this one is different from the voltage the supply the supply to the gadget is different so automatically the volt the current the cable length is less when comparing with the normal or normal system so automatically the voltage drop will be less so we can be able to get the required voltage on the terminals of the point machine on the team that that type of operation is called remote control of point machine remote control of point machine and at the same time contact of lever knob push button does not have the heavy duty current carrying capacity does not having the heavy duty current carrying capacity because knob is small very small so it can't bear it can't bear six amps or four amps like that so for that reason also we are using some other means some other means coming to other requirements 
the, re the remote control requirement means requirement is to minimize the voltage drop. To minimize the voltage drop, if the voltage is, if the supply and the gadget is much more lengthier, much more lengthier. Now coming to the track locking is to be provided. Track locking is to be provided to prevent operation under the wheels. Already previous classes we have discussed, we have discussed about the track locking. What do you mean by track locking? Where the point machine is available, where the point machine is available, there we are going to use separate track, separate track, separate track circuit to control the operation of the point machine along with the detection of the track, detection of the train also, along with the detection of the train also. Why that, why that is required means because of once any vehicle is available on the point machine, then the track should be dropped, then the track should be dropped. Otherwise, what happened? If by mistake or for the purpose of testing or something else, if anybody operates the point from the longer distance, then what happened? The point is getting energized, the point machine is, the point motor is getting energized and it tries to, it tries to move the tongue rail from normal to reverse or reverse to normal. Normal to reverse or reverse to normal. That means from previous position to other position, from previous position to another position. But you please remember on that point some vehicle is available. On that point some vehicle is available. So with the heavy weight, heavy weight on the point machine and it tries to move the tongue rail, it tries to move the tongue rail because of heavy weight, the point machine, the point machine, that point machine is unable to throw, unable to throw the this much of heavy weight, heavy weight. So what happens? The tongue rail gets damaged. The point may get, the point machine, the point motor may get overheated or it may burn out, may burn out. So, so many things may happen. So many things may happen. It is very dangerous. It is very dangerous to the running of the trains. It is very dangerous to the running of the trains. In addition to loss of loss to the railways. In addition to loss to the railways, being the point machine is getting damaged. So, hence, until unless that is repaired, that is repaired or renewed, then only the movements can be normalized. The movement, until such time, the overall movements will be held up. So, it leads to heavy detention. It leads to heavy detention. For that reason, we are going to provide the track locking on each and every point machine. On each and every point, we are going to provide the track locking. That is the main purpose. And point machine should be protected from overload. Point machine should be protected from overload. The same thing we have already discussed. The same thing we have already discussed. In addition to that, we have already discussed in the previous class that once the point machine, once the stock rail and tongue rail between any small object is placed, then the point is unable to set and lock. The point, the tongue rail should move up to here and it gets some split, some split. So, for that reason, we have used, we are going to use 10 seconds time, 10 seconds time. Whether the point is set and locked, leave it. Within 3 seconds, 4 seconds, the point machine is, gets de energized. That means the supply will be dropped, the supply will drop. Otherwise, it will give up to 10 seconds only. Maximum time, 10 seconds only, the point machine will get the supply and it will rotate on its own. And once the 10 seconds is over, automatically the point machine gets de energized. That means the supply will be dropped automatically by means of some relay arrangement, relay circuit arrangements. And facilitate for sequential operation should be provided. Normally, A end and B end. A end is here and B end is here. So, for example, two ends are there. Two ends means two machines will be available. One end is A end machine, another one is B end machine. These two machines, we are trying to provide sequential operation. That means once the A end is operated, through the A end, supply will be extended to B end. Through the supply, from the A end to the B end, supply will be extended. That means once the A end is set and locked, and it is ensured through the detection contract, then only the other end will get energy, the other end will get speed. So, once this end also energized, this end also set and locked in the required position along with the A end. Suppose A end is normal, B end also, B end should be normal. A end reverse, B end should be reverse. So, 
this sequential operation. This, this, is, this should be ensured. Then only the common NWR or RWR will get picked up. Through the pickup contact of NWR and RWR, the other movements will be taken place. The other movements will be taken place. That is the purpose. That is the purpose. That is the reason facility for sequential operation should be provided. So, two types of relay control units are standardized. In Indian Railways, we have used, we are going to use two types of units. One is Siemens point contact unit. One is Siemens point contact unit. It is almost, this is this much box. So, Siemens point contact unit. And the second one is point contact unit with QBCA relays. Second one is British type. First one is Siemens. Siemens means German style. Siemens point contact unit. Second one is same point contact, but they are going to use the QBCA relays. QBCA relays operating with the e video natural But whereas normally like Siemens type share will, will be share chandi, subscribe chandi. Marini updates for some bell icon. Press Thank you. So this is the